Alright guys, Rula here and welcome back to another quick, easy video tutorial sort of thing. Now this time we are going over the Exciter inside FL Studio 12, an exciting video about the Exciter. Let's get it done. Why is my screen clipping and doing weird stuff? Anyway, excuse me, can you stop that? We're good now? Alright. Um, okay, so what do we have here? We have four bands, we have um, each kind of saturation. Now what an Exciter is, it basically will saturate each segment and it will put us kind of um, give our sounds more warmth sometimes, more brightness, more um, crispness a lot of the time um, and now those are kind of decided with different um, settings here so if we were to open up an exciter on a mix, let's turn it off Okay, cool. So let's open the exciter now and let's say, let's solo the low end, for example. And let's put this at its um, most um, active point, about here. Now, let's say we think this is a bit too smooth. It's too creamy. It's too like smooth and nice. Let's just add something. Now, we have analog, retro, tape, tube, warm, dry, triode, and dual triode. Now, analog. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a speaker for Congress or something. We now have analog coming in. I don't know. Anyway, um, okay. So the retro. We'll start with the retro um setting. Retro will basically um add odd harmonics. Um, kind of hard to explain how that is, but um, we've got odd and even harmonics as well. Add odd harmonics. Tape is um tape's a bit more let's say bright. It's also odd harmonics, but it will give you more of a bright sound. Um, now, warm, of course, it, it will add warmth um, in even harmonics, which will kind of be a nice warmer sound, a bit more um, of a warm, warmth, satu warmth saturation. Can I speak to it? Triode is basically putting things through a tube. Um, it's basically a tube circuit, again, for a more warm saturation, but it's only half um, half tube as the dual triode will be the double tube and it will add even more warmth. Um, the tape brightness again, an analog warmth as well, just a different kind of style of warmth. So let's say we want um, some tape saturation. We want the low end to be a bit brighter. And we have the amount, which is the amount of excitation and the mix, which is um, basically mixes with the dry signal to make sure it's not doing too much. So let's put it, let's bring it up and listen. So you will hear it does, it adds a bit of like distortion almost, a bit of saturation. The tap tape is, um, will, like I said, brighten up and make it a bit more crunchy and a bit more crispy. But let's say, nah, we don't want it crispy, we like it a bit more warm. And um, we can use the dual triode, which will warm it up. The dual triode, which will warm up. I Some of these things I see in these tutorials, I swear to God, I would never have said ever again in my life, ever. But anyway, let's warm up with the dual triode, Jesus. Bring the mix down if it's a bit too distortion-y. Now you don't want it to sound like all like crispy and distortion-y, and especially in the low end. Um, so just kind of keep it simple. I, I like the dual triode here with um, a bit of a smaller mix and an amount of about 1.7 seems good. You see it gives it a more round kind of um, warm sound with that dual triode. Now, the middle we could crisp off a bit if we wanted. Again, um, there was the analog gives more warmth. Let's actually try analog. Let's see how it goes. So again, we'll start with the mix, put up to maybe 30 and bring this up a bit. A 
bit more of a kind of old style kind of feel um kind of wear and tear sort of saturation i would kind of say um again it's all right not bad at all it adds a bit of a, a cool vibe to it i guess a bit different um but yeah we'll have that amount maybe down to five i think that'll do there um and again we'll use it on here see if we okay so i definitely want this to be brightened up a bit because i just i think it'll add with the sound of it yeah that's perfect that's it right there that it brings a lot of color to that a lot without and then with yeah that's great there perfect there yeah i like that a lot so definitely tape in this um, range sounds very nice, at least to my ears. Now with the high end again, let's warm up because high end can sometimes be a bit harsh. So let's use um, another dual triode and sound and basically test it on here. Bring it across a bit maybe. Okay, now let's um, listen to everything now. No exciter. I'm with the exciter. So yeah, basically has excited the mix. It's added a bit more color, a bit more character in each segment. Um, again, maybe I've overdone it on slightly um, here, but again, it sounds nice. It sounds a lot more crisp, and that's a perfect way to brighten up or warm your sound with a bit of saturation, a bit of excitement, um, and everything like that. Now, the next video will be on dynamics. Um, dynamics is basically um, got a lot to do with compression, compressing and um, limiting and all that stuff. So that might be... Um, something you'd want to watch again that will be in the next video but this was um, I think the fifth installment of the mastering series and we did it on the exciter so leave a like leave a comment let me know what you thought in the description again all drum kits are here if you'd like to buy them link will be in the description um, and yeah thank you very much for watching guys remember leave a like share subscribe all that good stuff and um, yeah let me know what's happening let me know in the chat if you like this video what you think of it what you want next if you want um any videos kind of designed on specific topics let me know and i will try and help you out as best i can but yeah take care guys thank you very much for watching links in the description to all the drum kits and take care much love peace